Good morning, everyone. This morning, I'd like to tell you about different skin creams and things that you can use to protect your skin. On the other hand, some of them could give you skin damage. Not knocking any company. Everybody have their beauty secrets and somehow it doesn't work for everyone. This morning I'd like to tell you about um, different a variety of skin creams you use that can damage your skin. Because if you go out into the sun and it doesn't have an SPF of 15 or 20, any FPF, which is sunblock, you can damage your skin. So even in the morning, instead of putting all of them underneath your makeup, you can just use just one or the other and it would help protect your skin out there in the day, you know, in the day, day sun. What I did was teach what I did in practice at some point and I went out into the sun without putting protection on, one with some walk. Yeah, you can burn your skin, you can literally burn your skin if you use all of them at once. All of these, um, the skin creams to take off spots and blemishes. So be careful what you use. And according to how much you use and where you put it. Okay? Because if you use all of them together, you can burn your skin. So this right here sensitive skin some sensitive skins cannot take certain creams you might have an aller allergic reaction or just a sunburn from some creams not sufficient SPF in the the skin creams so here you can have beautiful skin everywhere else clear but my area is sensitive sensitivity around the eyes so at night you may want to put some eye cream Mix whatever you mix to protect your sensitive areas because before going out during the day, you could really damage your skin, even under makeup. Okay, so just be careful the skin creams you use, the variety of skin creams you use, the contents, the intensity. Some skin creams are much too strong, much too strong for different skin types. Okay. And either way, they can cause skin damage. We don't want wrinkles before time. So, I'm just here. Just a little um, knowledge base. As far as I know. As far as I'm concerned. Everyone has their own opinions. But this is mine. If you have very sensitive skin, be careful what you put on it. Because everything doesn't work for everyone. And here I got some burns from the sun here. And I know as we get older sometimes, we get age spots as well. So please put on um, some kind of skin protection sunblock or a cream base or a little more cream base foundation which can protect those sensitive areas. Okay? Because this hasn't happened to me in quite some time because I'm not a person out in the sun. And it could also happen from tired eyes if you, you know, insufficient sleep. But here, I am certain this is from the sunburn according to which direction you're walking. So, I have certain creams that I use. And I am continuing to learn that we must focus on those sensitive areas. Try not to burn our skin out in the um, environment because it really could damage if we're not putting on sufficient protection and the right for your skin type, okay? The right ones for your skin type. So you want to get it go from top to bottom, but mostly from your forehead. We'd like to say out towards the, the hairline, okay? Out towards the hairline from the bottom. Some of us have expression lines from smiling in different areas. We don't want to rub too much on our skin because some of our skin a little sensitive and you want to keep your elasticity, so let's just pat it in, okay? 
Let's just pat it into the skin. You'll get the same results. Mm -hmm. and you don't want it on a lip because, yes, it can either hurt. It's different skin here, you know, on our lips. Okay. Let's just focus on our sensitive area. This is my sensitive area. Your sensitive area may be elsewhere. Okay, and if you want an even skin tone, if we're using fade creams or whatever you choose to use, focus on your sensitive areas first. Okay? Sensitive areas first. Get around those eyes, but please protect your eyes. Not in your eyes. Go in a circular area around your eyes. Do get as close as you can because you don't want an uneven skin tone if you're using a skin fading cream. Excuse me. And I like to get under your chin. You don't want to look like you have a mask on if you've gone in and out all around the hairline with your cream. Okay, you want to go from under your cheekbone, your lips, to what's the end. You pat it in, just lightly smooth it in under here. Okay. And we're going to take it down from our chin. Don't forget our neck. That's a part of your face, basically. Because <laughs> it extends. Okay. Extends down. Pat around your neck. That's delicate area. As we get older, as we get older, you don't want to stretch, lose your elasticity there because that's loose skin. You don't want to lose it anywhere. So we want to pat that in. Okay, some people go from here. You can do that lightly, but you're still stretching your skin. So please. Okay, lightly. Mm -hmm. And while you're done there, our hands get so much ex much more exposure if we keep the rest of our bodies. We want to put nicely. Okay, go to those hands because sometimes our hands do show age, our neck and our hands. Keep those hands nice. Okay, nice. And lubricate it. Wear the skin cream, lotions, oils. And don't forget from that neck area. Let's move back into where we were. We put some of that 